Hello everyone, welcome to you on Think Future Academy channel. Today we are going to learn about Gantt chart. I will show you how to construct a basic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel. Let us begin. You can see here one Gantt chart which I prepared already and this is my data based on what I prepared this data, this Gantt chart. So we will start from the basic. I am going to remove this one at the moment and we will make the new Gantt chart as per our requirement. See here that these are the tasks, start date, completion date, com plan to complete date and actual completion is there as well. Here I inserted two numbers here, what are these numbers? Actually I will tell you during the video that what are these numbers and how these are functioning. Let us begin at the moment with the Gantt chart. First of all, go to insert and insert the chart, any type of chart you can insert it here, okay. Here I am going to click 2D bar chart, okay. Right click on the chart and select data option, add series name, start date and your start date is this one, okay. Then add the plan, this is my plan and these two numbers as well, okay. Here you can see these numbers are coming, I need the tasks here, task 1, task 2, whatever the tasks are there, I want to be here. So I am going to select the plan to completion and then going to click edit and X axis. I am going to select this data, okay. Now you can see here the tasks are coming upwards. The task 10 is on the top and task 1 is below now, okay. Now we are going to make it reverse order, top to bottom or you will see here, just click on here, okay. I am going to select this chart and x axis here, yes, there is selection x axis. I will click on this one, this tasks and now you will find here there is one option categories in reverse order. Now task 1, task 2 and all this one is in the ascending order now and dates are there now, okay. Now you have to hide this information which is blue one, I am going to right click here and here you can select no fill and just click these plot area and remove these ones. Now you can see here the data selection starts from the June 21st, but our data started here from August. Now we need to fix this area. You can see here when I clicked on this one, this option open, X axis open and it is showing some numbers here. You can see here there are some numbers, see here, these are the numbers. What are these numbers? These numbers are, if you remember in my one video, I told you everything here, it is a number, even though date, it, it is reflecting as a number. So what I did it, I am going to select this option, okay, and I am going to select if, you know, this is a short date, the same date. And when I am going to select a number, it gives me the number and I selected here the last completion date as well. Both are numbers. Now when I am going to click it, this numbers and I am going to in my chart and X axis, I will feed this number here, double four, four, two, eight and the second number is double four, five, two, eight. Now you can see it is as per our requirement that uh, 
dates are reflecting now. This way you can create your Gantt chart and if you want to make change color here, you can click on this one and come here. Uh, you can choose any of the color from here as well and this is your uh, chart design. You can change from here as well, okay. Any, any color you want, you can change it here as well. So, it is very now, uh, if you want some more, uh, you know, here information like uh, chart title, you can type it here now. You can add from here these options. On the plus sign when you are going to click, if you need a legend, you can put the legend as well. Grid lines, error bars, data tables. Uh, for presenting this one, it is much better to uh, select this option and these are the data labels as well. So, you can see it here all information as per your chart it is available. This is the plan and the same way you can create the actual as well. Thank you very much.